Hello friends and welcome to the session on Lorentz series. It is important series to learn about singularity and residue of functions of complex variable. Expansion of analytic function as power series. I have given a session on Taylor series. I refer the link given in description box. In this session we are going to discuss analysis region or a ring shaped region. Lorentz theorem and proof. Here I have given simple way to remember the proof. Comparison between Lorentz series and Taylor series. And last, singularity of function by using Lorentz series with example. Maclaurin series is particular case of Taylor series while Lorentz series is generalized Taylor series. Let's start the session with ring shaped region. It is a region bounded by two concentric circles with a different radius. Z0 with the center and R1 is radius of the circle C1. R2 be the radius of circle inside C1. Then region bounded by these two looks like ring or analysis. It is a ring shaped region. There are few more possibilities. If R2 equals to 0, then we have all the points inside the circle C1 except at center Z0 as shown in the figure. Case number 2, if R2 is finite and R1 tends to infinity, then a region is all complex plane outside the circle of radius R2. And case third, if we combine previous two cases, that is if R2 is 0 and R1 is tends to infinity, then region is all complex plane except at point Z0. So we have seen a ring shaped region and its different possibilities depending upon the values of R1 and R2, whether R1 is finite or infinite and R2 is 0 or finite. Moving towards the statement, if f of z is analytic in ring shaped region D bounded by two concentric circles C1 and C2 with center Z0 and radia R1 and R2 with R2 is less than R1 and Z be any point of D then f of z is expressed in terms of sum of positive powers of Z minus Z0 and negative powers of Z minus Z0 as given and an and bn are constant given by contrary integrals. First, we sketch the region Z0 is center and R1 is radius of outer circle C1 and R2 is of small that is inner circle C2. Then region between these two is ring shaped region. Z be any point at a distance r from Z0. So we have defined f of Z is analytic in the ring shaped region D bounded by two concentric circles C1 and C2 with center Z0 and radia R1 and R2 with R2 is less than R1 as shown in the figure. If Z be any point of D and it is at a distance r from center z0 then r is lies between r2 and r1 by cauchy integral formula for doubly connected region f of z is expressed as a difference between the integral over c1 and c2 as given in equation 1 for the first integral for every point w on c1 we have rearrangement of the term in w minus z adding and subtracting z0 taking w minus z0 common and rearranging the term using binomial expansion 1 minus x rest to minus 1 replacing x by z minus z0 divided by w minus z0 in the formula we know that this binomial expansion is valid if mod x is less than 1 since w is on c1 implies mod w minus z0 is equals to r1 and z is at distance r from z0 implies mod z minus z0 is equals to r. 
as r is less than r1 mod z minus z0 divide w minus z0 is less than 1. Hence, this infinite series converges. In right hand side of equation 2, multiply 1 upon w minus z0 inside the bracket. Index of denominator in each term is increased by 1. Multiply by f of w divided by 2 pi i and integrating over c1 on both sides. In this equation, terms with powers of z minus z0 are constant as we are integrating with respect to w. Integrating separately and taking the term z minus z0 and powers of z minus z0 outside the integral. using constant a0, a1, a2 for the integrals. Thus, the integral on right hand side is expressed as sum of an into z minus z0 raised to n where an is given by the integral. This gives the first part of theorem. For the second integral of equation 1, for every point w on c2, we have rearrangement of term minus 1 upon w minus z. Adding and subtracting z0, taking z minus z0 common and rearranging the terms. Using binomial expansion 1 minus x raised to minus 1. Replacing x by w minus z0 divided by z minus z0 in the formula. We know that this binomial expansion is valid if mod x is less than 1. Since w is on c2 implies mod w minus z0 is r2 and z is a distance r from z0 implies mod z minus z0 is equals to r. And as r2 is less than r1 therefore mod w minus z0 divided by z minus z0 is less than 1. Hence, this infinite series converges. Simplifying equation 4 means multiplying by 1 upon z minus z0 inside the bracket. The index of each term in the denominator will increase by 1. Multiply by f of w divided by 2 pi i on both sides and integrating over c2. In this equation, the terms z minus z0 z minus z0 bracket square and so on are constant as we are integrating with respect to w. Integrating separately and taking the terms z minus z0 common from denominator. So index will become negative. We are using same argument which we have used in the first integral. Now using constant instead of the integral b1, b2, b3 and so on. Thus the integral on left hand side is expressed as sum of bn into z minus z0 raised to minus n where bn is given by integral. Using the value of integral from equation 3 and 5 in equation 1 we get our required Lorentz series of a function f of z over the region d. Here a n is given by 1 upon 2 pi i integration over c1 f of w divided by w minus z0 n plus 1 and b n is equals to 1 upon 2 pi i integration over c2 w minus z0 raised to n minus 1 into f of w. This proves our required theorem. Take a note. If we observe Bn is as same as An with negative index. If C is any circle of radius R and center Z0 such that R lies between R2 and R1. Since F of Z is analytic in ring shaped region bounded by two concentric circles with radii r1 and r2 
we can write a n as integral over c instead integral over c1 and similarly d n as integral over c instead of integral over c2 in this case resulting series become f of z is equals to summation from n is equals to minus infinity to plus infinity a n into z minus z zero rest to n where a n is given by the integral for integer values of n this proves our result third part of the session that is comparison between Lorentz series and Taylor series Lorentz series expansion of f of z about z0 for any z in ring shaped region is f of z is equals to summation a n into positive powers of z minus z0 plus summation b n into negative powers of z minus z0 the terms with positive powers of z minus z0 is called as analytic part and it converges for all the values inside the big circle. The term with negative powers of z minus z0 is called principal part and it converges for all the values of z outside the inner circle. Thus, the Lorentz series combination of analytic part and principal part converges in a ring shaped region. In Taylor series expansion f of z is need to be analytic at z0 whereas in Lorentz series expansion is possible if f of z is not analytic at z0. If f of z is analytic inside the circle of radius r1 then coefficients b1, b2, b3 and so on of principal part of the series are 0. Laurent series become as same as Taylor series. The coefficient of Taylor's series are determined by finding the derivative of function f of z at z0 and the coefficient of Laurent series are determined by using contour integrals. But in solving the example we do not use this formula instead we use a simple method last part of the session singularity of function by using Lorentz series f of z is analytic in domain except at z0 then in analysis region Lorentz series expansion contains analytic part and principal part as given the depending upon the number of terms in principal part there are three possible cases case first if principal part contains infinite number of terms then z0 is called an essential isolated singularity of f of z for example expansion of sine 1 upon z minus 1 in terms of powers of z minus 1 here expansion has infinite number of terms in negative powers of z minus 1 thus f of z has isolated singularity at z is equals to 1 case number second if principal part contains no terms that is all bi's are 0 then z is called removable singularity of f of z.
in the expansion of sin z divided by z in this example if we observe the powers of z they are all positive thus f of z has no terms in negative powers of z so that the function has removable singularity at z is equals to 0 case number 3 if principal part contains finite term that is say maximum power negative power of z is m then z0 is said to be pole of order m for example in the expansion of cos z divided by z raised to 5 so negative maximum negative power of z is 5 it contains finite terms in negative powers of z hence the function has pole of order 5 at z is equals to 0 the coefficient b1 in the series expansion is called a residue of f of z at z0 we shall discuss later that's all from this session please share your suggestion through comment box thank you for watching in next session we shall discuss some examples on lorentz series expansion for more information like comment and subscribe our youtube channel amazing maths